Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month May tarot reading. This is a reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you, as always, for all the support. I just appreciate the heck out of all of you. I can't tell you enough. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So those will bring in aspects of money, love, moving, uh, all the bases. Mondays are different style every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. Next week, it could be something entirely different. If you like tarot, and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all involved with Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot. Then we'll have a couple of different oracle cards. And I'll tell you what, I had a card get left behind. We're gonna use that as a clarifier. Okay, so the um, current situation, we have the moon. The immediate influence is the hierophant. Ooh, secrets are gonna come out with that combo. You've got the page of pentacles in your subconscious. Queen of swords in the distant past. This is interesting. Now, if you watch this channel, you know I love this number synchronicities. Four, five, emperors, four, hierophants, five. You've got the seven of cups coming towards you. You're represented as the page of cups. The person or situation that you're attracting, queen of pentacles, nice for money, but also a stable partner. You've got, wow, you've got justice in the outcome. This is just too crazy. I gotta see what this is. We have the three of pentacles. We've got the three of wands and the fool showing up. This is a big deal. Threes are all about synergy and happiness. They're a fabulous number. Now, I'm going to take this one step farther and say that the Empress is also a three. So I feel like she's here in spirit. She's also here in the cloak of the uh, Justice card. So uh, in some of you are like, okay, just get to the damn story. I need to know what's happening. But I get blown away when this is connected like this. So now we're going to get into it. You have four major arcana. We've got Libra, Taurus, Aries, Pisces. So, and we've got actually five major arcana. How about we included the fool in this? I feel like you're headed for a big transition, but I'm going to tell you what, Sagittarius, it's not going to be brief. I feel like you've got like for the next year, I'm talking, you know, through mid-May until next mid-May, you have a big transition coming. Now, for some of you, if it's a move and you've been doing some research and you've got options coming in, you've got the two sevens, but I also see too with that ace of pentacles, you're going to draw in just the right situation. If it's a job too, though, you've got great aspects for money. So if you're kind of like in one of those places when you say, when is my break coming? When is it going to be my turn? And it's now. Okay, again, it's it feels like it's going to be one of those cycles where it is about a year, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen for a year. Okay, I mean like in a year from now, you are going to be blown away. You're going to be looking back and saying, my God, that was the, the middle of May was the beginning of one of the most glorious seasons of my life. I feel like somebody here, you are definitely on the right track. And if, especially too, with the fool, it's trust, it's enthusiasm, it's new beginnings. Now, if it is a love relationship with the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, you have a partner for keeps. This is for keeps. And it's going to be very um, honest. It's going to be very forward. There's nothing hidden here. That Three of Pentacles, though, that brings in new opportunities. It is going to be time for a new endeavor. And the Three of Wands says that your ships are coming in. Threes are about growth. And like I, like we were talking about, about attracting success and happiness. It really truly is a time where you're going to flourish. And I do feel like too, even with this showing up here, I just love this. I feel like it's very important because the emperor brings in a discipline and it brings in trust. And it really says, hey, things are exactly as they seem. 
Whereas the Hierophant is a card of marriage. It's a card of deep love. It's a card of unity. So you have a very balanced energy. And I will say too, for somebody here, you may be attracting an emperor. Somebody, again, like I said, they will have your back. They're that, that queen of pentacles energy too. So if you've been through some faulty periods with relationships or if it's with a job too, I feel like this will be one of those times when you say that was the best job. That was the best situation that I could have walked into. And they're telling you, take that leap of faith. You stand in the field of pure potentiality here. You've got a brand new, fresh, clean slate and it's happening. So with the Hierophant and the Moon, like I said, you're going to get information. I like this combo. It's also spirituality. So with the Moon, everything comes from source. Okay, as you see, the these two animal friends, they depict balance, but also to this crab walking out of the water. It really is a time for some of you, even on a mundane level, even though major arcana or major life events, on that on that day-to-day -day level, it may also be about cleaning up some areas of your life. If you say, you know, yeah, I've eaten my last Hawaiian roll for a while, you know, even though they are delicious. Um, but you say that kind of stuff where I'm just going to get away from some of the processed stuff because it's just too easy to... All of a sudden, I've, I've done things and I don't feel good about, about how I, how I, what I've consumed, what I've done. So I do feel like somebody here, you are going to be doing kind of a cleansing period. Mind, body, spirit. I get it all the way through. But with the energy of the Hierophant, be still and know. It, it truly is a time that delivers success into your life. And the Hierophant, too, is a time of bringing in protection. 3, 7, 12, okay? So I mentioned before, I do feel like the next year is going to be very important. And it doesn't mean you're going to wait until next May. Not at all. It's already starting. The shift is already here. And so with the moon, too, that brings in fulfillment. So I do feel like, too, as far as a relationship, I feel like somebody here, there's a proposal, going on. But if it's if you say it's not me because I do not want that, I still feel like you have somebody who's going to pledge their unfaltering, unwavering testament to you. Somebody who really does get you and they want to be by your side. So um, with the, um, the Ace of Pentacles too, I mentioned a bit about home ownership. You also have the keys, keys to the kingdom and the Hierophant's feet. So I do feel like somebody here, I do see actual keys being exchanged. And so if you've had a bit of a bumpy ride with that, where even to I get somebody trying to talk themselves into something that you know was not the right situation, but I feel like your your internal radar, your gut, your compass, whatever you want to call it, said, don't do that. Don't just go for that. You're better off staying in the current situation and seeing what else comes up. Your subconscious has been hard at work here. You're bringing in a new chapter. It offers long-term stability. It offers, in terms of money, a time when you're going to be flush. So don't be surprised if you're getting checks. Now, I see like a series of checks under $200, but, you know, it's not bad to open up a check for $174.25. And I don't know where I'm getting that number from, but somebody, it's like amounts like that where you go, oh my God, I had no idea I overpaid this. Cool. You know, or, oh, my credit card changed banks and apparently they recalculated you know, my account and they owed me some money here. It's that sort of thing, all right, where I do feel like you're going to start to see those bits of money. Hell, I, I mean, I'd love to get that. So I do feel like somebody, you're going to be opening those checks. And it's every time it's going to bring a pleasant surprise. But what I'd say is take it one step farther with that pleasant surprise and really connect with the universe and say, thanks for sending this. Thanks for, because you know, those things too can go unpaid and you're getting paid. So with the queen of swords, this is an energy too, whether it was you or somebody around you, it really is a time of delivering communication and it's, it's, it's a, a facility though for communication. So for somebody, especially with the emperor, if you were on the brink of making a job change or a move, it may have been somebody too who came in and kind of redirected you. Notice she doesn't look to the side. She always stares ahead. She's staring at what she wants. And so with this too, it is a time of being a bit witty about it though. So even those of you that said, I wanted this, but it didn't work out, you may have found that you had a bit of a sense of humor about you or it was somebody around you. Now, if you're with the Queen of Swords, we have two queens here. The Queen of Swords has been wounded. I mean, there's no doubt about it, but you do have the two upright swords and these are always positive. These go in your favor in terms of communication. But um, I will say if it's a partner who's like this a bit, I do feel like they know a good thing when they have it. All right. So if you're in a relationship and you really say, my the person I'm with is that dry, sarcastic, intelligent, 
decisive energy, they're queen of swords. And if they're still kind and loving, because the king can be a little bit harsh, if you say, no, they're kind and loving, and they can definitely be, you know, they can, they can connect to emotions, but in certain circumstances, they can be a bit guarded, you know, they can be a bit decisive, but that's them, okay? So same thing with that emperor. I still feel like you're attracting an emperor energy, and I love the emperor. He is the father of the tarot. This is the great protector. He's the great architect of the universe. So when you have the emperor showing up, get ready to have success. This is everything moving forward. And it's almost like I get a connection here a little bit with the chariot, like almost like a tank moving forward. It's like either jump on the side of the tank or you're going to be run over. Okay, with this, it's like this is happening. So for somebody too, I feel like you may connect with this a bit in terms of your own um, connection or your own decision to move forward with what you really want. This is not bending. This is not, I'll lower my standards. This is, my standards are here. And if you want to be with me, if it's a house, if it's a job, whatever it is, they'll rise to the occasion. So you might find that some people around you are telling you you're being too picky. I get that, especially like if it's a house and they're going, well, paint goes a long way. And you're like, no, this is not the right layout. There's not, no. And you're just saying no and there's people around you trying to convince you. I feel like you're too too much into this to be have your mind changed. I'd say go with it because the emperor, again, he doesn't settle, but he lives in luxury. He lives in success. So you are success. With the Seven of Cups, this may be where this connects with some of you that say, yeah, I've had some opportunities. They just haven't hit the spot. This can also be, though, it, it can be a card. It's a, it's a card of being somewhat unable to choose, but it's also a card of um, uh, manifesting, okay? So for some, it, it really is saying, you know, get in, get a little bit clearer about what you want because when we manifest from the Seven of Cups, we can get a lot of little snippets that are not quite right. They're just not quite the right thing. And I just feel like you're going to be in this place where it's like only the best will do. So you are the Page of Cups. That softens a little bit of this. If those of you are like, I'm not that demanding. Come on. Well, with this Page of Cups, I do feel like in a relationship, there's a nice soft undercurrent to it. There's real love here, no doubt about it. This can be the return of the ex. Now, this represents your energy. So what I would say with that is if it is, it's somebody you'd be interested in. It is not somebody coming in that you have no desire to deal with because, again, this represents you. Um, but overall, it is a new energy. It's going to feel light. It's going to feel, too, like there's hope, there's promise. For those of you who have said, yeah, I keep coming up empty-handed in Seven of Cups style, this is where you're going to connect and say, no, it's there's... There's more here, and now I see it. Now I see the, the end to the tunnel here, the light at the end of the tunnel. So this is who or what you're attracting. So this is perfection in terms of a home. She's very fastidious. She pays attention to detail, but everything around her is just so. So this is certainly not compromising, lowering standards. In terms of a partner, she's very generous. So I do feel like you attract somebody who's generous with their feelings, like I said, but they've got that, I still get that emperor energy off of them, could be an Aries, but it's like somebody who's very true to you. When the emperor, he doesn't take his eyes off of his empress and it's not controlling, it's love. It's what he does, he does for her. So I feel like you have somebody who is going to cherish this relationship. They're going to invest in it and they're going to be committed and there's no questioning it. There's nothing doubtful that comes in there. So seven of wands, hopes of fears, this is all about moving towards success. And it's also saying you have a conquering spirit and you're not going to give up. Even if the right thing hasn't come along yet, I feel like you're right at the the, ver the verge of that breakthrough. So with the card of justice, here you go. This is where the universe makes everything right. So what you've been seeking is also seeking you. And this is where it's delivered. Communications very upfront. Any contracts you sign are easy. They're, they're written correctly. There's no second guessing. There's nothing hidden. And in a relationship, it is somebody who's very straightforward and clear. So let's see here what the fortune oracle has to say for you. What else does Sagittarius need to know about money, please? Advice for Sagittarius. You have the fool. Okay, you have double fool. That's good. Okay, when we have it showing up here, because let me tell you really quickly, 
there aren't many synchronicities in Oracle cards, not like the tarot. Tarot is very specific. So this is, when it happens here, this is big time. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. So with the fool, you know who you are and that's where you really come into your own. You really come into the freedom to make big leaps of faith, to make those changes because it's exciting. So you're right on the brink, I feel. Let's see what the cards have to say for you about love. All right. You have embraced love through gifts. Who doesn't love to be on the receiving end? A small token of love can co um, can convey great appreciation. So even too for somebody, I feel like if you are closing on a home or moving into an apartment or something like that, I do even see somebody getting a gift there as well. But ultimately with this, in terms of a love relationship, if you're single right now, even those small gifts, remember to connect with the universe because those are a, those are an example of love being sent your way. Good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.